Did you know that 24 out of the world's top 100 CEOs are engineers? Unbelievable, right? Well, it might appear that way because once upon a time, becoming a CEO required a Master of Business Administration or MBA degree. But that appears to have changed going by the way more engineers are disrupting boardrooms these days. Now, let's take a second to consider things for a bit. If 24 out of 100 CEOs are engineers, what this means is that almost a quarter of the CEOs who run the companies that are changing the world have a degree in engineering. So why are so many engineers heading big companies? What could be the reason for this major disruption in the global business landscape? If you are as intrigued as I was when I first discovered this fact, keep watching this video to find out six reasons why so many CEOs are engineers. Number 1. Engineers are detail-oriented CEOs must be as detail-oriented as possible to make great decisions that drive their companies forward. The business landscape is ultra-competitive, and paying attention to details is often key to making decisions that either grow a company or drive it to bankruptcy. Now, one of the prerequisites for being an engineer is a willingness to pay attention to even the minutest details. For instance, an engineer involved in building a project such as a dual carriage bridge or a space station would pay attention to the smallest details. Why? Because they understand that the slightest miscalculation in the project's design could lead to the loss of millions of dollars and even lives. So, engineers are trained to be so meticulous that they can pick up facts and patterns that most people would ignore. In addition, they are extremely proficient in seeing things at the systems level. That way, they can see the big picture and how each of the components of this system affects each other. So, naturally, when they get into leadership positions, they can bring this detail-oriented approach to bear on business situations. A typical example is Satya Nadella's work as the CEO of Microsoft. Nadella is an electrical engineer by training, but he has been able to apply a systematic approach to how Microsoft operates in the global business landscape. His ability to understand the unique details of Microsoft's challenges has helped the company implement innovative ideas that reversed its downhill trajectory and made it a leading tech company. Microsoft was a $400 billion company that was on the path to relegation in the global tech space in 2014 when Nadella took over as CEO. Today, it has grown to be worth over $2.2 trillion under his watch. Number 2. They embody the concept of perseverance. Engineers are often tasked with transforming ideas and concepts into reality. For example, the Eiffel Tower, the Statue of Liberty, Tesla's electric cars, space shuttles, and numerous space stations worldwide all started as ideas at a point. They then morphed into designs before becoming things that did what they were designed to do. Engineers were always involved in every stage of the development of these things. And trust me, the journey from ideas to reality is always arduous. Most times, they are even more arduous than your favorite Star Wars saga. But one thing I learned from watching the Star Wars franchise was that perseverance always wins. Transforming an idea or concept into reality is always fraught with challenges and issues, but the average engineer understands and accepts that and is always willing to persevere. The willingness to persevere leads to creative and innovative strategies that work at the end of the day. An engineer turned CEO would never accept that the market is too small for whatever innovative business idea they have. This breed of CEOs, for lack of a better term, is always willing to push things to the limits. They are always willing to make business environments adjust to their ideas. Take Elon Musk, for example. When he came up with his idea of an electric car, many naysayers almost drowned him out. But thanks to his grit and ability to tackle complex engineering and business issues headlong, his Tesla company has become a force to be reckoned with in the global automotive industry. Number 3. They are great problem solvers. Engineers enjoy solving problems. They seem to live for it because their training as engineers affords them the analytical thinking and organizational skills needed to tackle both small and complex problems. 
Engineers are also trained to solve these problems efficiently and safely. They are adept at organizing, interpreting, and processing data. This makes them great at masterfully handling cost versus performance decisions that are key to successfully running a company. That explains why engineers are just as comfortable solving a complex math equation as they are handling risk management analysis. So whether the problem is how to build an underground tunnel or how to grow a tech business, you can count on an engineer to come up with the right answers. Number four, engineers are great collaborators. The success of any company lies in the ability of its departments to collaborate optimally. Engineers make great CEOs because they are great collaborators. Remember what we said about engineers being system-level thinkers? Since engineers are so great at systematic approaches, they are great at finding the right talent and skill. In addition, they understand that everyone who works for a company has a role to play in its success. So naturally, having the wrong hands at the job would destroy the company. They also understand they need to create a work culture that sustains and attracts the best top talent to the company. After all, when a business has a culture that incorporates the business hands, other top hands would be drawn to working with the company. Such a company is thus able to function at its best and easily hold its own against the competition. One reason for this great collaborative ability is that engineers often have to work on projects with other professionals from different fields, so they must communicate and interact effectively as a team with professionals with divergent skills, methodologies, and knowledge to make the project successful. When such engineers become CEOs, they find it easy to coordinate people, processes, and systems to handle business challenges. Number five, engineers are experts in tech. We live in a digital world where tech rules. Every facet of our lives has been impacted in one way or another by tech, whether it is business, entertainment, education, travel, or even food, there is hardly any industry in today's world that which tech does not play a leading role. Now, of the aspects of life tech impacts, the business is one of the most effective. Businesses are constantly looking for ways to optimize their business processes to match the digital age that we are in. Interestingly, tech is not stagnant. It is constantly evolving, and businesses looking to play catch-up must integrate as many different hands as possible. That's where the engineer CEO comes in. Engineers make great CEOs because their engineering allows them to stay abreast of the innovations in the tech space. They understand tech trends and can bring this understanding to bear on creating the right products and services that the business needs to provide to stay competitive. Number six, engineers are always learning new things. Show me an engineer and I will show you a perpetual student who is always paying attention to the changes in the industry. Engineers understand more than anyone else that nothing stays the same and that technology is always in a steady flux of evolution. That's why they are constantly learning new things. Do you know the secret of the most successful Fortune 500 companies? It is the willingness to adapt to the times. That is why they quickly exploit the developments in various fields to endeavor to create products or services that offer end-to-end -end customer solutions. The most interesting part is that these companies are largely dependent on advanced technology to provide the solution. Who then do you think is best suited to steer such a business in a world ruled by tech? An engineer, of course! Why else do you think engineers are the CEOs of leading Fortune 500 companies, among several others, of course? Engineers are basically about what works. What worked a year ago might not work so well today because of the innovations in the industry. That's why engineers constantly stay updated with trends in the industry. This habit of staying updated is what makes them great CEOs. A successful CEO never rests on his oars. Instead, he is constantly getting ready to ride the next business wave. So, those are my six reasons why so many CEOs are engineers. What are your thoughts? Better still, do you have other reasons why so many engineers are CEOs? Let me know in the comments section. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching. Until next time.